While Berkshire Hathaway itself does not pay a dividend to its shareholders because it prefers to reinvest all of its earnings for growth, Warren Buffett has certainly not been shy about earning shares of dividend-paying stocks. Well, the answer is I do believe in dividends in, in a great many situations, including many of the ones that companies in which we own stock. Over half of Berkshire's holdings pay a dividend and several of them have yields near 4% or higher. A dividend is often the sign of a financially healthy and stable business that is committed to rewarding shareholders. Since taking over as CEO of Berkshire Hathaway in 1965, Warren Buffett has delivered investors a return of 20% compounded annually. His success is not a mystery, and he has openly shared his intellect and practices when it came to picking up value-generating stocks. Buffett believes price and value are two different phenomena. His Berkshire Hathaway is an example of a wealth-creating stock, as it has delivered an astonishing return of around 57,000% over the course of four decades. Known among the best fundamental investors in the world, Buffett turned the 1839-founded textile company Berkshire into a holding company back in 1970. But before that, Buffett took the reign of Berkshire as chairman in 1965. Now, Berkshire's main business and source of capital is insurance, through which it floats the retained premiums in a broad portfolio of subsidiaries, equity positions, and other securities. So far in 2023, Berkshire's share price has gained by 11%, while in a year, the stock has rallied by 25%. In five years, the gain is nearly 80%. Currently, Berkshire is among the top 10 most valued companies in the world. You might not think of Buffett as a fan of high-yield dividend stocks, but he is. Buffett's love for dividend stocks is also one of the reasons for Berkshire's phenomenal performance. Berkshire Hathaway's investment portfolio is packed with profitable, time-tested, dividend-paying stocks. Warren Buffett has invested more heavily in high-yield dividend stocks than you might think. In fact, roughly 25% of his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio is invested in these high-yield dividend stocks. Berkshire Hathaway received $823.5 million in dividends from Apple in 2022, the iPhone maker is the largest company with a market cap of $2.72 trillion as of now. During his company's annual shareholder meeting in May 2023, Buffett described Apple as a better business than any we own. Apple is different than the other businesses we own. It just happens to be a better business than any we own. Apple was founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Since then, Apple has evolved into a powerhouse among product development and technological advancements, and is one of the global consumer-facing brands. While Apple is known for its iconic products, including the iPhone, iPad, Mac computers and Apple Watch, a big part of its reputation lies in its sleek, simple and minimalist design, user-friendly interfaces and cutting-edge technology. Beyond its hardware offerings, Apple provides an array of services such as the App Store, iCloud, Apple Music, and Apple TV+. These services further enrich the Apple ecosystem by seamlessly integrating across various devices. Apple's unwavering commitment to delivering quality and ensuring customer satisfaction has helped in building a strong, loyal customer base. And one reason Buffett likely feels this way is the loyalty of Apple's customer base. Apple is often viewed as one of the most valuable and most recognized brands in the world. When new products hit retail stores, it typically doesn't have to worry about demand. But it might be Apple's capital return program that has Warren Buffett hooked. Apple is paying one of the largest nominal dollar dividends each year, around $15 billion, and has repurchased around $600 billion worth of its common stock since it kicked off its buyback program in 2013. Berkshire's stake in Apple is steadily climbing as a result of Apple's mammoth buybacks. Buffett found love for Apple shares during the first quarter of 2016. Berkshire Hathaway owns about 916 million shares, giving it a 5.8% stake in Apple worth almost $180 billion today. Apple makes up 46% of the entire public equities portfolio at Berkshire, with a market value of $180 billion, thereby making Apple his biggest holding. Apple has not disappointed Buffett, 
Berkshire spent about $36 billion between 2016 and 2018 to amass stake in Apple, and taking into consideration the latest value of his holding in Apple shares, the investor has recorded an upside of 381% so far. Apple has made significant gains in 2023. Year to date, the stock has jumped by at least 52.5%. In five years, the stock rallied by a hopping 299%. Since mid-1983 to date, Apple shares have returned a massive 95,240% to its investors. In August 2023, Apple's board of directors has declared a cash dividend of 24 cents per share of the company's common stock. Apple's current dividend yield is 0.5%, with an annual dividend of 96 cents. The company's price-to-earnings ratio is 32.37. Besides its favorable characteristics that are obvious, Apple's shares were dirt cheap when Buffett first bought in, trading at an average trading price-to-earnings ratio of 10.6 during the first few months of 2016. Valuation is a priority for the Oracle of Omaha, and he was ready to pounce at the opportunity that market offered him several years ago. Buffett has owned shares of the Coca-Cola company longer than any other stock, we can see Buffett's dedication to long-term investing through his ownership of the Coca-Cola company. He's also an avid consumer of soft drinks marketed by the company. Coca-Cola is the fourth largest position for Berkshire, making up 6.9% of its portfolio. Buffett's dividend investing strategy is a cornerstone of his successful approach to stock market investing. Back in 1994, Berkshire Hathaway received $75 million in cash dividends from its $1.3 billion investment in Coca-Cola. Fast forward to last year, and that dividend payment saw a remarkable increase, reaching $704 million. This shows how Buffett's patient approach can lead to substantial returns over time. The giant beverage company has been a favorite of income investors for a long time. Coca-Cola has increased its dividend for a remarkable 61 consecutive years. That track record gives it a coveted spot in the elite group of stocks known as Dividend Kings. The company offers a quarterly dividend of 46 cents per share and has a dividend yield of 3.18% as of September 5. While it's true that Coca-Cola's growth heyday has long since passed, the company continues to move the needle for its shareholders thanks to its predictable operating cash flow and top-tier marketing. With regard to the former, Coke has operations in all but three countries worldwide Cuba, North Korea, and Russia. This allows it to collect predictable cash flow in developed markets, while taking advantage of faster organic growth rates in emerging markets. As for its marketing, Coca-Cola is devoting more than half of its ad budget to digital media channels, relying on artificial intelligence to curate and tailor ads while also leaning on well-known brand ambassadors, is helping the company engage with and win over a younger generation of consumers. Buffett once said that his favorite holding period is forever. Coca-Cola certainly appears to be one of the legendary investors' forever stocks. Warren Buffett's position in American Express is currently worth $24.5 billion. That's 7.39% of their entire equity portfolio. He owns 20.59% of the outstanding American Express stock. Berkshire received $302 million in yearly dividends from American Express last year. American Express Company's market value is $104.26 billion, and its dividend yield is 1.48%, which means that for every $100 invested in the company's stock, investors would receive $1.48 in dividends per year. Its payout ratio is 22.56%, which means that 22.56% of the company's earnings are paid out as dividends. A low payout ratio may indicate that the company has a strong financial position and can invest in growth opportunities, while a high payout ratio may indicate that the company is returning most of its earnings to shareholders. Its annual dividend is $2.40 per share. This is the total amount of dividends paid out to shareholders in a year. American Express Company has increased its dividends for two consecutive years. This is a positive sign of the company's financial stability and its ability to pay consistent dividends in the future. The macrothesis with American Express is very similar to Bank of America. 
While recessions and contractions are a normal part of the economic cycle, expansions in bull markets last disproportionately longer. For a long-term minded investor like Buffett, it's a simple numbers game that works to his advantage. The brand's premium status has been more successful at attracting higher income consumers than competitors. It has a lengthy history of attracting affluent clientele. High earning cardholders are less likely to alter their spending habits or fail to pay their bill during modest disruptions. In theory, this should allow American Express to weather downturns better than most lending institutions. Additionally, American Express benefits from both sides of a transaction. As of 2021, it was the number three payment processor by credit card network purchase volume in the US. On top of collecting merchant fees, it acts as a lender and generates annual cardholder fees or net interest income. Chevron isn't too far behind Coca-Cola, ranking as Buffett's fifth largest holding. The integrated oil and gas producer makes up 5.6% of Berkshire's total portfolio. Buffett began buying Chevron in late 2020, acquiring an initial stake of 48.5 million shares at an average price of $80.96. At that time, the stock was severely undervalued. Despite trading steadily in the $90 to $100 range for most of the preceding two years, Chevron fell as low as the $60 range in 2020 when global energy markets were hammered. Buffett, taking the longer view, recognized the value Chevron represented and began buying shares in the oil major. Chevron has consistently displayed features that are known to attract Warren Buffett. To begin with, the company generates a large amount of cash flow from its activities. Today, Chevron produces about $28.50 worth of cash flow per share annually. Even with the higher prices the stock commands in the current market, this puts Chevron's price-to-cash flow ratio at an attractive 5.5. Chevron also returns a significant amount of cash to shareholders in the form of dividends. Many oil stocks pay attractive dividends. Chevron is no exception with its dividend yield of nearly 3.8%. The company's current annual payout is $6.04 per share. Chevron has paid a dividend since 1912 and increased its dividend for 36 consecutive years, qualifying the company as dividend aristocrat and dividend champion. Given that the payout ratio is just 32.6%, Chevron's management will likely have room to continue raising the dividend in future years. A final factor that likely attracted Buffett to Chevron is its economic moat. In the petroleum refining industry, for example, Chevron accounts for over 15% of total industry revenue. Chevron is also among the top three oil companies by market cap, exceeded only by Exxon and Aramco. Buffett hasn't been as big of a Chevron fan in recent quarters as he has been over the past couple of years. He sold more than 123 million shares of the oil and gas giant in second quarter. Since 2020, he bought shares five more times and sold shares on five occasions. The stake costed the investor $15.4 billion, netting the investor a gain of 33% so far. Although it sits a veritable mile behind top holding Apple, there's no doubt that Bank of America is a favorite of Warren Buffett and his investing team. Berkshire netted an annual dividend income of $908.90 million from more than 1 billion shares of Bank of America, which equates to a market value of almost $29.3 billion as of September 8. Bank of America ranks as Buffett's second largest holding. It makes up 8.7% of Berkshire's overall portfolio. As of now, the Oracle of Omaha holds 13.08%, of the outstanding Bank of America stock. He first started investing in this bank in the second quarter of 2007. And since then, his shareholding has increased to $29.3 billion. So far, he has recorded gains of about 10% on his investment cost of about $26.7 billion. The stock has a dividend yield of 3.08%, with an annual dividend of 88 cents the stock's price-to-earnings ratio of 8.57. The company announced a dividend hike in July 2023. They announced plans to hike its quarterly dividend by 9.1% to $0.24 cents per share, 
effective third quarter 2023, marking its 10th consecutive year of dividend increases. Some banks still have a dark cloud over their heads because of the banking crisis experienced earlier this year. Bank of America, though, remains strong with a rock-solid balance sheet. Its business is booming as well, with revenue and earnings jumping by a double-digit percentage year over year in the second quarter of 2023. Interestingly enough, the Oracle of Omaha appears to favor bank stocks because they're cyclical. Though banks tend to struggle with rising loan losses and credit charge-offs during recessions, the fact is that recessions don't last very long.